So why is knowing the number of links and the number of joints and types of links and joints important? Well, this helps us to figure out some other stuff about the mechanism. So we can draw a kinematic diagram, label the links of joints, and use that to determine the number of loops that would be required to solve, like to know all the positions in the mechanism given wherever you have the, like the position of the motor or your actuators. We can also use it to determine mobility, which is similar to degrees of freedom. So mobility can be determined by an equation and degrees of freedom is basically just how many independent variables are required to specify position. It's also how many actuators you would need on the mechanism or how many ways it can independently move. So most of the time, mobility and degrees of freedom are the same thing, except every once in a while when something is weird about the mechanism. So we'll go into some examples of that. So first is how to draw a kinematic diagram. So to draw a kinematic diagram, basically just count all the links, count all of the joints and connect them. So we'll do an example of the standard four bar. So there's the fixed link, which is the ground. That link doesn't move. So we'll do this in red. We have the ground link and then we have the input link. The coupler link, which connects the input and output, and the output link. So we just have these four lines. So one, two, three, four links. And then joints. Let's see, we have one here, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, so four joints. And all of these joints are revolute because all of them just rotate. So now that we know number of links and joints, we can figure out number of loops required to solve and the mobility of the mechanism. We'll wanna compare that to degrees of freedom kind of as a check. So looking at this, if we think, how many actuators would we need to move that four bar mechanism? Well, if we rotate the input link, let's say we put a motor right here on the bottom left. So if that motor is connected there and it moves link two, we will have to automatically know all of the positions of the other links. So one thing to control, one degree of freedom. Now there are two equations to learn for loops and mobility. So the loop equation, L equals J minus L plus one. So total joint order four minus number of links four plus one, that equals one. So one loop required to solve. And looking at this, we can see that basically there is only one loop here, one closed circuit. So then mobility, this is Grubler's equation. M equals three times L minus one minus two J. So we'll have three times four minus one, minus two times four, nine minus eight. So M equals one. And this matches with the degrees of freedom that we had anticipated. So that gives us confidence that the links and joints that we counted up here are correct in number. Now the standard four bar, you can actually, you'll actually see that in lots of real life mechanisms. So if we look at this, adjustable light, um, we can see that there is a four bar linkage in the center here, but that extends and then you have the actual lamp part. So let's label this. We draw the kinematic diagram. We had those original four links, plus we have the lamp head. 
and then we have the original four joints. Plus we have another joint where the head of the lamp connects. So let's number these. One, two, three, four, five links. L equals five. And then one, two, three, four, five joints. J equals five. And then degrees of freedom. So looking at this, there is one degree of freedom that comes from the way that original four bar linkage moves. And then there's an extra degree of freedom with how the head of the lamp moves. So we'll make our guess degrees of freedom equals two. Looks like we'd need two motors if we were going to control this with motors. And now we can figure out how many loops will be required to solve and we can figure out mobility. So L equals J minus L plus one, five minus five plus one equals one. And if we look at this, it looks like there's pretty much only one closed loop like we had before. So then mobility, M equals three times L minus one minus two J equals three times four minus two times five, 12 minus 10 equals two. So mobility is two, degrees of freedom is two, those match. So that gives us confidence that the links and the joints we chose are correct.